I've always photographed buildings that have uh, some historical quality to them. That's good, that's good. My name is Bill Abronowitz. I am a photographer. I lived in Bedford for 24 years. I'm trying to capture today. Today will become history in, you know, tomorrow. Nothing better when you're looking at something like this in the rain, where it's saturated and green and heavy, you know? It's kind of beautiful like that. The first photograph that I made as part of this project was uh, the Bedford Oak, one very beautiful, misty, rainy morning. I feel things when I, I'm near historical things. I'm gonna go up here. Well, the, the buildings of the Bedford Historical Society, number one, are, are really beautiful. They're stunningly simple architectural gems. You may want to look at that light a little differently. The clock tower, to go up inside of it, it's like stepping inside a really nice watch. Oh my god, where do you see this? That is a timeless structure. There it goes. Pretty incredible. <laughs> Two o'clock. This is the, the courthouse, and we've climbed through a hatch and are actually on the roof of it um, at the cupola. I wanted to find something that hadn't been seen. So we climbed up and photographed the bell that was up there. And I don't know if it's going to be a great photograph, you know, but it, I don't know how many photographs of the cupola exist. Now there is one. I just made a photograph of the schoolhouse, and I, th and I made a photograph that really accentuates the beauty of that structure. But then I pulled back, I just saw all the modern life around it. The signs, the political signs, the traffic signs, the wires, the lights, and that's modern, you know, that I made a document of modern life around that schoolhouse, a pristine little slice of history. It's, it's true to what's today and it's history now because it's already two hours old, that photograph. I like making photographs that become part of history, that document a place at a specific time. The history of Bedford uh, should be preserved because these places disappear.